Welcome back to the Ready Gay Report with Kenny Calvin. And now, let me fix my collar, pop my collar. Coach <laughs> Stevens and got me crying and stuff. Well, welcome back. BC Women's Basketball. I got Victoria Trevino and Jasmine Rodriguez. How y'all doing, ladies? Good. Great. Good. All right. Great. Yeah. Great to see y'all. Great to see y'all. Two Thanks. returning sophomores, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Nice. Nice. Well, I had an opportunity to do play-by-play for you guys last year. I don't know if you recognize me much. I'm usually up at the top doing a whole lot of complaining when y'all getting worked <laughs> over by the refs That's or whatever. <laughs> but, Victoria, where are you from originally? I'm from right here in Bakersfield, California. What high school? I went to Ridgeview High School. Nice, mm-hmm. nice. Ridgeview High School. Yep. All right, yeah. Jasmine. Um, Rogers, where you I'm from? from Bakersfield, California. I went to Foothill High School. Foothill High. My mom was a Trojan. Salute. Salute. Nice, nice. nice. So, so talk about the experience of coming back as sophomores. You guys lost players like Crony. Uh, who else did you lose last year? Mm-hmm. Angie. Angie. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Justin Salazar, true. Blinn. We had a lot of sophomores yeah, last year. I, I do remember that. That's why I brought that up. And mm-hmm. one of the things that I talked about to coach was just the opportunity to have sophomores that have valuable playing time to come back and be leaders. So let's let's start with Jasmine. Um, I'm a former point guard. You know, I, I was more of a football guy, but yeah. you know, I played basketball as well. But primarily. Backed up some great guards, you know, didn't have an opportunity to be a starter yeah. much in my career. And I watched you come off the bench last year at, at you know, in moments mm-hmm. and provide a spark defensively. Who do you model your game after as a player? Um, I have a couple. Um, I like Kobe, Kobe's mentality. Nice. I love the fourth quarter. Like, that. Whenever it's fourth quarter, I think of him. You know what I mean. Beautiful. Um, I have a Lonzo ball shot. It's kind of weird, I, but I do. I'll be going in. <laughs> I, I, yep, yep. I've seen the sling shot. I've seen the sling shot. You know, you got yeah. game. You know, one of the things I like more than anything was the defensive intensity. You know, you usually covering one of the one of the point guards and best yeah. ball handlers on the floor, and just having an opportunity to see that from a perspective for you, it was just like a spark plug. Kind of reminds me of a you know, Vinnie Johnson coming off and just giving buckets and actually yeah. playing fast. And that's old reference. That was 80s. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, I dated myself right there. But yeah. but just the impact that you had coming off the bench. And now you're looking like you're going to be one of the starters, right? Being yeah. point guard? Sure. Of course, of course. So, Victoria, what position do you play? I am power forward. Nice, nice. Mm-hmm. Power forward, lady Big on the block. Beasting on the block. <laughs> so know. so let's talk about your influence as a player. Mm-hmm. You know, you come, you come up. In a situation at Ridgeview, how did you guys compete at Ridgeview? Did you do well? Well, yeah. My freshman year, I, like, was blessed with the opportunity to play with, well, under Erica McCall. So I was a freshman coming in. And then, like, just seeing that team my freshman year, like, it was just so inspiring. Like, they went, they won Valley. Yes. And then just, like, just be, having the opportunity to see Erica, how she plays, how much she works, and then just being able to be, like, be able to play defense on her and practice, you know, like, that was – a great experience for me my freshman year. Great experience, great basketball family. Dad's mm-hmm. coach at Cal State. Brother's also playing at Cal State now. So glad you brought up a local teammate yeah. that influenced you. Because a lot of people, you know, we look outside of ourselves, you know, and outside of our general circle for inspiration. But it's always great to have that inspiration close to you and someone who's continuing to play at a high level that you can still call on the phone and yep. get advice, right? <laughs> yes. All right, so, so so let's talk about this season, upcoming expectations. I know last season, uh, how did we finish in conference last year? You remember? Um, I have not first. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> yeah. not first. That's the most important thing. So so let's talk about expectations this year. <laughs> uh, we're opening up with Antelope Valley, right? Yes. Um, what, what are our expectations for coming out this weekend, Victoria? So – as sophomores, I'm pretty sure me and Jazz are on the same page. We came in the season, and we're just like, redemption. Like, this is our season. We're going to take this team. We're going to win. And we're going to win well. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So Absolutely. coming out this weekend, like, I'm out. I, it's hard for me. I'm injured. But, like, on the bench, I'm just going to be cheering them on. Like, we just need to set the tone early, starting our first game. Definitely. So, so Jasmine, uh, you'll be able to take the floor, you know, without Victoria. So let's talk about your intensity, you know, or, or your outlook for the season from an individual perspective. I know your team, and I'm kind of throwing a curveball right now, but talk about some individual aspirations for you from a player's perspective. So about me. Um, I could just say just to be a leader on the court, um, you know, try to guide my team, you know, tell them where to go. Um, for me, um, just lock down the best point guard. Absolutely. You know, get my assists up, you know, just try to drive to the bucket, you know, just – 
try to. Well, well, I'll that. definitely tell you this. You got to the bucket easiest I've ever seen <laughs> from a point guard perspective. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's one of the things that I like most about you being able to penetrate and break down defenses. Um, so let's talk about pregame prep. <laughs> Everybody got their way of getting warmed up. I was a music guy. Well, I I am still a music guy. I work in music. What's a go-to song for Jasmine Rodriguez to get Meek Mill, up? Dreams and Nightmares. Uh-oh. My go-to song. She knows every word. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished? They don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about that out there in that lobby. Meek Mill, yes. Dream Chaser. Did a lot of work for MMG. Did placement for Rick Ross. For the military services tour where musicians go to bases yeah. to perform. Mm-hmm. That was one of my jobs for a couple of years. I have a oh, nice. few contracts in my trusty phones for Rick Ross. So, nice. great inspiration. Victoria, pre-game pump-up music. Who you got? Young Dolph. Any album, every album, every song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she hit me with the Young Dolph. <laughs> if you don't know, California, Young <laughs> Dolph is a Memphis, Tennessee That's representative. Right. And I'm going to tell you how I know. Who Young Dolph is because my oldest son, DiMaggio Davion Calvin, from Memphis, Tennessee, his favorite rapper is Young Dolph. <laughs> we could be friends. That's right. That's right. He, he's he's in Poland right now in the army right now. Okay. He's representing for the for the country. But Young Dolph, man, Young Dolph been ducking some heavy <laughs> heat. Man, he's been getting heat from everywhere. A hundred shots. hundred shots. <laughs> A whole hundred shots. A whole shots. hundred shots and still live. <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about this. Current News Talk Radio, Bakersfield.com. <laughs> Go research Young Dolph and see how she gets inspired for the game. You got me pumped up now. <laughs> well, you hit me with a curveball right there. I was expecting something else. The California Some girl Taylor likes Swift. Young Taylor Dolph. Swift? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so, so we got we got Antelope Valley upcoming this, this uh, Saturday. It's going to be a huge weekend for Bakersfield College Sports. You know, a few other things happening on campus. we got football on mm-hmm. campus. But more than anything, the BC basketball opener is going to be amazing. And I'm going to tell you why. You guys don't get the credit that you deserve from an athletic perspective as women basketball players. Even thinking about the WNBA and how they're going after, you know, collective bargaining agreements to get equal pay. You know, so, so I want to tell you like this. Having a daughter – who's 13 years old, who also had opportunity to see you guys play and is inspired by you. I got to tell you, never undersell yourselves. You know, the, the, the opportunity that you guys have to use this sport to transition into greater things is just as good as every other guy who's ever laced up a pair of shoes. And I wanted to make sure to tell you guys that because often at times when you don't get the credit that you deserve, it kind of affects your confidence. You know, it does for me. I remember the times where – I felt like I was overshadowed and I didn't give my best effort the next time. So if there's going to be one thing that I'm going to leave you guys with before we transition into the break and bring in Kalana Dimon and Arby Stone, I want to remind you guys to never sell yourself short on the impact that you have for the generation that follows you. Because I'll tell you this, my daughter, 13 years old, she hasn't got a B in eight years. She's had straight A's like eight years in a row. But she loves basketball. It's her favorite sport. And I, I hope, like heck, that she has the opportunity to wear the BC black and red like you guys. You know, because she's seen you play and just watching her eyes light up after you guys have come through with some of those good wins inspired me to be a greater person. So it's just a continued pay it forward, all right? Yes. So, so more than anything, I want to do that for you to remind you what you – me to the next generation of players that are watching you. So, Victoria, anything you want to leave the world with before we go to break? Nothing? Come see us play at yes. all of our home games. Come we have us. 12 home games this year. Don't be shy. 12 yes. home games. Jasmine? Same thing. Just come support your local 661. You know, just be out here, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I used to ask Coach Taylor if I can have a list of Kenny Cow's pals so I can bring like 10 to 20 young ladies in to be inspired. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to see if I can get Coach. that sign back Coach. up. Coach. 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 She has you. For Coach. sure. For Coach. Sure. Kenny Cow's pals back for BC <laughs> basketball, BC <laughs> women's basketball. All right, ladies, I appreciate you, and I wish you the best of luck this Thank year. Thank right? you. All I right, and I'll it. be there doing play-by-play and hope to get you for some halftime interviews. Oh, yes. yeah. All sure. right. All right, we'll be right back after the break with Kalana Dimon and Aubrey Stone of BC women's basketball right after this.
Buying a pre-owned vehicle from an online company can be risky, especially if the vehicle is not seen in person before the purchase. At Three Way Chevrolet, we want you to search and compare the inventory on our website, but then come in to the dealership and test drive our vehicles. Let us take the risk out of your buying experience. Buy from the dealer you trust, and when you step up to certified pre-owned, confidence comes standard. A 172-point inspection and reconditioning along with two factory-backed limited warranties and roadside assistance add up to a value you can depend on and a vehicle you can trust from Three Way Chevrolet, your hometown dealership. For nearly 80 years, Kern Schools Federal Credit Union has been helping generations of local people achieve local dreams. What started as a tiny office in the basement of Bakersfield High School, where receipts were kept in a shoebox, has grown to become the largest financial institution headquartered in Kern County. And local matters. Through the years, we've been witness to families and friends passing their current school's tradition down from one generation to the next. And we always have room for more. So be sure to start your current school's family tradition today. Current schools, together we have something special. W.A. Thompson Distributing proudly supports Bakersfield College Athletics. W.A. Thompson has been delivering quality beverage products to Kern County businesses for over 60 years. With great beer comes great responsibility. Please enjoy our products responsibly and always remember, 21 means 21. W.A. Thompson Distributing salutes B.C. football. Thanks for following the Renegades on the radio and go Gates! For years, Kern Schools Federal Credit Union has been the local choice to meet your financial needs. And just because we're local, you can still take us wherever your travels or life may be. That's right. From online and digital banking to mobile check deposit, Kern Schools is always a tap away. And did you know banking at Kern Schools gives you access to over 30,000 ATMs nationwide? More than any big national bank can offer. Download the Co-op ATM Locator app to find an ATM near you. See, we're local, but we're local everywhere. Kern Schools. Together, we have something special. It's hard to think about winter with the leaves and pumpkins laying about, but it won't be fall forever. So swing by the fall tire sale at Les Schwab through October 31st. The sale may be seasonal, but our service is here forever. Les Schwab Tires. Doing the right thing matters. 